Hi, my name is Emmy, and I'm a freshman. I'm Theo, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Kai, and I'm a senior. I'm Lillian, I'm a sophomore. And we're from Abraham Lincoln High School. Trigger warning for emotional abuse. Mental abuse. Physical abuse. Sexual abuse. Title, To My Abuser. This poem isn't for you. You don't deserve an homage in my body, let alone an homage in my writing. I'm not immortalizing you, and I won't make you a martyr hung in the name of some forbidden obsession. Simply because, to me, you're only dead. And I know you think my love for you should be as innate as a smile or a wistful dream. But please don't flatter yourself. Because it doesn't feel that clean. You leave a grimy fingerprint where I just can't see. My neck. My spine. The back of my knees. A crevice in my heart. But please don't flatter yourself. Because I only think of you when I hear floorboards creaking, announcing the alarm that drops into the depths of my belly. The fear becomes blackness that grows a tail and chokes itself around my kidneys, cowering closer under my covers. Reminding me of the punches that hurtled from your mouth, from your hands, from your heart. But please don't flatter yourself. Because I only think of you when someone knocks on the door. Their hands seem to meld into yours. So loud I feel it reverberating in my ribs. So loud it's splitting at my seams. The fear pushes me deeper into my nightmare behind as many locks and doors that I can't find. I, I can't, can't tell if I'm being literal or if it's all in my mind. But it's just as quick. In little to no time. It hooks its fingers underneath my collarbones and pulls. Just like you used to. But please... Don't flatter yourself. Because I only think of you when my voice gets too hoarse. To lie. Or explain. Or plead. When I get too quiet for anyone to hear me. When someone stutters straight through me. Whether you're there or not, it's just like how you used to. But, but I, I know, know you, you can, can hear, hear me. me. I'm right here. I don't know if it's desperation or disease making my words just grace your temple instead of sinking into your skull. I know now your twisted sickness all too well, and I'm sorry, but I only think of you when I, I love, love you. It feels tight on my shoulders with little to no slack, and I feel like I have to bite back, but I can't. I see you lighting the gas strobes in an attempt to blind and suffocate the truth, convince me to blame not the stars in the sky, but myself. But please don't flatter yourself. Because I only think of you when shame comes to caress and sing me to sleep. Just like you used to. But please, don't flatter yourself. Your soul isn't lingering on my heart. You're, You're haunting, haunting me because I only think of you at your funeral. And when that day comes, don't ask me to write your eulogy or, or forgive, forgive you or love you. Because how could I love the ghost in the corner of my room? The creaks in the attic or the words written in the fog of my hazy mirror. You're stacking all the chairs just to crash them all down again. Tomorrow, Tomorrow you will be the same and the day after, after that, that and, and God, God do not flatter yourself because recovery is never coming for either, either of us. us so do me a favor one I've asked for a million times rock without, without me, me.